Welcome back to the cabin series. This week we're working on the exterior of the cabin where we've chosen to do black metal R panel for both the roofing and the siding. We think the metal will be lasting and durable out in the hill country, while the dark black color will be modern and simple, contrasting well with the cedar soffit, but also blending in to get lost in the wooded hillside. Something I didn't really touch on in the introduction, but as is often the case with off-grid builds, one of our biggest challenges so far has been getting materials up to the build site. The road is a single, narrow lane going up the hillside with multiple tight switchbacks and gets really steep towards the end. For the most part, this isn't an issue, as any four-wheel drive vehicle can handle it pretty easily, but there's really no chance of getting a trailer up the road. So this means that everything we do have to be shuttled up, either on side of or on top of a vehicle. And in the end, this becomes a pretty time-consuming and hard job to lift the 16 to 20 foot pieces of steel that are heavy but also flexible and strap them down correctly for a steep and bumpy ride up the hill. We didn't always have success, and in the end, this process took most of an entire day. I have no idea what I'm doing. So if I haven't mentioned yet, I have absolutely zero construction experience. 
and you can watch all the YouTube videos and read all the instruction installations that you want. But in the end, there's nothing quite like having your own piece that's your time and money investment in your hand and that you'll have to replace if you screw it up to make you hesitate. So especially over the first day, there was a whole lot of this. But in the end, you just got to go for it. Well, that's not bad. Here we go.
Um. At this point, we had been working all day. It was the same morning we finished up the soffit that we started work on the metal trim so that the roof could go on. But it was well over 100 degrees in the Texas summer, so we were reaching our limit, and the cameras were continuously overheating, so I wasn't able to get any good footage of the roof going on. I tried to set the camera up one final time to capture us putting on the last two panels, and again, it overheated pretty much immediately. But with the roof done, we're ready to start siding next. <laughs> 